Right now, the annualized re reward for this cryptocurrency, if you're a staker of this cryptocurrency, uh, the annualized reward is currently 190%. So that means if you had 100 of these crypto token and you stake them annualized over the space of a year, uh, your reward would be 190%. So at the end, you'd end up with another 190. So your total holding would be 290 of these tokens. Now, that might sound ridiculous. And there are some elements to that, that it does slightly vary and, and, and it will move over time. And the obvious thing is the token price in fiat money does change. And that is volatile. But if you've got a long-term view over the value of these crypto appreciating in value, this is a very smart way in a market that is really in a bear market. It is a smart way to build your holdings very easily and very simply, really without having to do anything at all. It is a sort of set and forget strategy to help build your position. Welcome to the Exponential Investor Podcast. Want to be a better, smarter, more clued up investor? Well, you've come to the right place. We cover the breakthrough investment ideas you don't hear about in the mainstream to keep you on top of the mega trends and opportunities reshaping our world. Good morning and welcome to your Friday episode of the Exponential Investor Podcast. I'm your host and editor Sam Volkering here with my, ah, see, got you there. I'm not actually here with Shay Russell this week. Uh, I'm flying solo. Uh, Shay was unable to jump on the call this week, as uh, I've been unable to jump on the call uh, intermittently for the last couple of weeks on and off. Um, that's because we have just got crazy conflicting schedules. She's always busy. I'm always busy at conferences and events. And uh, we've been away a bit, actually, the last few weeks. And so Shay's actually, I think, at another mining and metals uh, conference or convention whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've just been to one out in Australia. So uh, we're, we're all over the shop, crossing flight paths and uh, and everything, but all to bring you the insight and expertise of what's happening in the world of global finance and stock markets and investment markets and crypto markets and everything else and in between. And as I say, I have just been out to Australia for a whirlwind tour to the Australian Crypto Convention. Um, flew in on Thursday night Australian time, flew out on Monday night Australian time. So it was a, a fun uh, but fully packed few days. And I thought what I would do today is maybe just have a little bit of a chat about my uh, takeaways from that, but also uh, looking at what's happening here in the UK because as I record this podcast, uh, the Bank of England has decided to lift rates again. Shock, horror. Um, and although, to be fair, I thought they were probably going to, I mean, if they had, you know, a little bit of something about them, which they clearly don't, they probably would have raised rates uh, by a full percentage point, but they didn't. They just went with the uh, half a percent. I mean, that's not, it's not going to move the needle that much. And they say now that we're in a recession. Shock horror. Uh, I'm a little facetious about that because it is something that we have been telling you about now for a very, very long time that we would see double digit inflation. We would see interest rates skyrocketing and the economy would head into a recession. Now that's uh, that's all great, right? You know, that's that's great for us to be able to tell that to you. But the key things are what can you actually do about it? And uh, it's pretty tough because the stock markets are down, even the crypto markets are down. A lot of value, a lot of risk off in in all kinds of markets. Property prices are heading south, even with uh, the new prime minister Liz Truss and her. I think she's planning to raise the stamp duty limit to to or minimum. Uh, threshold to 250,000 pounds, uh, which will, will make a little bit of difference. Um, she's planning to reverse the uh, national insurance hike, which uh, came in recently. And she's planning to, you know, lower corporations tax. So she's really on the pathway to trying to spur economic growth. I wouldn't be surprised if a bit of fiscal stimulus was thrown into the mix to further help things along which will probably only exacerbate inflation more. And if the Bank of England's only going to uh, pay lip service to what's actually happening in the economy and raise rates by a half percentage point, 
we may be on this path for at least another 12 months, maybe even longer. So again, the question comes back to what can you do about this? Well, there's a number of ways to play it and, and, and we'll dig into this more again as we have over the last few weeks when Shay comes back and we can have a bit of a discussion. But as I say, I've been at the Australian Crypto Convention over the last few days and I believe that one of the smartest ways to really hedge yourself against what's happening in the economy and with inflation is to uh, invest in the smart ways that are available to you in the crypto markets. Now, people will say to me, and people still do say to me, even after being in this industry for over 11 years now, I think I think it's 12 years in total, maybe may be 13. Okay, anyway, it's over a decade, well over a decade. Um, people still call it a Ponzi scheme and tulip mania, and it's not backed by anything, and it's all gonna go to zero, and so on and so on. But, the reality is there are ways to make smart money in this market. And I am looking right now. So when I talk to you, I've got a camera up here and it is on top of a large widescreen monitor just below the camera here. So when I look down at my screen here, I'm just going to reel off some of the yield returns on a number of crypto that I know of that people are already utilizing uh, to generate ongoing uh, holdings within uh, these these crypto tokens. So here's one. And I, I unfortunately, I can't name these crypto here on this podcast. That's, you know, high level Intel that is uh, reserved for our subscribers to our advisory services. But I can give you a guide of just the sorts of things that are on offer. So I'm looking at one here, a decentralized blockchain. Uh, it is It is a very important part of the future of what's coming in cryptocurrencies. Anyway, I've covered plenty of that previously. Right now, the annualized re reward for this cryptocurrency, if you're a staker of this cryptocurrency, uh, the annualized reward is currently 190%. So that means if you had 100 of these crypto tokens and you stake them annualized over the space of a year, uh, your reward would be 190%. So at the end, you'd end up with another 190. So your total holding would be 290 of these tokens. Now, that might sound ridiculous. And there are some elements to that that it does slightly vary and, and, and it will move over time. And the obvious thing is the token price in fiat money does change. And that is volatile. But if you've got a long-term view over the value of these crypto appreciating in value, this is a very smart way in a market that is really in a bear market. It is a smart way to build your holdings very easily and very simply, really without having to do anything at all. It is a sort of set and forget strategy to help build your position. So that that's one. Uh, here's, an, here's another one I'm looking at. So a similar thing, if you're staking this particular crypto, the annualized reward here is, uh, I'm looking at it on my screen, 19.38%. Now that's not 190%, you know, clearly, uh, but it is still a lot more than the current inflation rate. And it is a very smart way to continue to build your positions. Uh, here's another one, 22.96%. Uh, I'm not making these numbers up. I'm not pulling them out of the ether. Uh, these are the actual annualized rewards for some of these staking crypto. I'll pull up another one, 12.43%. Okay, we've got one here that is probably below inflation. So again, it's not, it's not necessarily an inflation beat of this one that I'm looking at here, but it is going a long way to negating what the impact of inflation is going to deliver. So that's just four. And there are many, like I've named four. Well, I haven't named them, but I, I'm looking at four here and giving you the annualized rewards on at least four crypto tokens that you can easily buy, you can easily stake, and you can easily build your position in. Now, you know, another thing to do, and, and, and the, I know that some people do utilize these this way, is that they almost look at them like crypto ATMs, is that these rewards, while they're annualized rewards, the numbers that I was talking to you about there, the actual payouts of these things happen. Some of them are daily. Some of them are you could claim every minute if you wanted to. Or some of them you could claim every second if you were fast enough to do it and continue to compound that way. Most people sort of do it daily. But you can claim daily, you can restake them, 
you can continue to build your position, can continue to uh, apply the, the wonderful mathematics of compounding returns, and you can continue to build your positions. Some people uh, don't compound them. What they do is they, they put a staking amount in and then each day they claim their rewards and they use that as income. Now, it's important to understand that with all of these sorts of things, you must make sure that you uh, uh, adhere to and are compliant with all tax requirements. Um, you know, the, the, the tax office will treat certain crypto and certain activities in different ways, whether it be income taxed or capital gains tax. So make sure that if you haven't got yourself a, an accountant that is uh, up to date and up to speed with all the rules and regulations around cryptocurrencies, get one because it's very important that you remain compliant with the tax office. But this is, you know, these are legitimate strategies. These are legitimate ways that you can continue to try and beat inflation. I mean, it's it's hard, right? I <laughs> the, the the way that the, the the government and the Bank of England and the tax office sets up uh, your very existence is 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 tricky, right? Because you know you you work and you 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 graft to to make a living, to earn a living. Uh, you know, you maybe you get paid a salary and you get paid a salary, and straight away the tax man's going to take away a fair chunk of that. You know, on average, about a third of that is going to go to the tax to the tax man through national insurance contributions and, and all of that. And then you come out and you, you know, you go and buy some fuel and fuel's about two quid a liter, which is a lot of it's predominantly tax. And, you know, you, you probably maybe you want to buy a drink or some milk, um, you know, and so, you know, all these things have tax along the way and, and certain other aspects of your daily life are taxed VAT is 20%. And, you know, you pay stamp duty if you say, so there's a lot of, you know, ways even after you've paid the tax man that you still get taxed. Uh, in the economy, so they don't make it easy when inflation is up around double digits. It's a, it's a fast track way to erode wealth and value. But as dire as that may sound, there are ways, as I've mentioned, in the cryptocurrency ecosystem to get uh, extra yield, to get extra returns, to build your wealth in a period that is tough and it is difficult, so that when things turn, and that's the important thing, is that. Things will turn for the better. We won't. This this won't be uh, a situation economically and financially that will be in forever. It feels like that at the time. Every recession does. Every time we go through these big troughs and, and and these these cycles, it feels like that. You know, this is the new normal. The new normal is a term that gets bandied about all the time. Uh, but it's never the case. We always go through cycles. We have throughout history. Again, there's no guarantee that we'll go through cycles again in the future because, you know, you can't predict the future, but it's fairly, um, it's, it's fair to say that I think that there will be brighter days ahead. And if that's the case, then absolutely you want to be doing what you can, when you can, in the smartest way possible to build your positions. The stock market's really hard to do that. There are ways, of course, with dividend paying uh, stocks. And again, that's a really smart way to go about investing in periods like this is stocks that continue to make money and profits and pay dividends to investors. And you can reinvest that back into the stocks and continue to compound your positions that way. You can also do it in the crypto market. It's a similar sort of principle, really, except the yields on offer in the crypto market are like the stock market on steroids. And if you believe in the long-term value of some of these networks and their importance into a decentralized future of communication and transaction and interaction socially, uh, then we are, you know, I think it's an opportunity that you just you just can't continue to sit on and ignore. Um, there's, I know, I'm, I'm aware of other projects, other crypto projects out there where not only can you you stake and earn yield, but you can also uh, uh, invest currency, whether it be US dollars or, or, or British pounds or Australian dollars or Bitcoin. And you can generate massive yields, sometimes up towards around the forty percent mark and above. Again, I can't, I can't name these crypto on this podcast. Um, that's not what we're able to do. Those sorts of things are reserved, as I say, for our subscribers, uh, for our advisory services. But they are these are real, legitimate ways that you can continue to not just beat inflation and smash the irresponsible fiscal and monetary nature of the Bank of England and. Uh, and the government, you can absolutely destroy what they've done to the economy by beating them the smart way. And, and a lot of that is through cryptocurrency and the crypto ecosystem. So look, hopefully you are well aware of these things already and awake to the fact that you can, you know, 
invest into crypto networks and you can generate staking yields and returns. And you can use some of the platforms available out there to, to really make quite a lot of money in a pretty dour market because most people don't know about it. And the people that don't know about it will get left behind. And so hopefully you're smart enough and forward thinking enough to say, actually, this is something I do want to know about more. Uh, and then you will dig a little deeper, use some of the information that we've provided um, and find out some of these platforms for yourself. Again, if you've got questions on it, if, if you know there's, there's something out there and you're not sure if it's, if it's good or bad or if it's a scam or not, you can write into us. I, I, I do really encourage everyone that is looking to get into the crypto market that maybe hasn't before, that it can be a bit daunting and there can be a lot of ways that you can get scammed and a lot of ways that you can get fleeced of your money out there. So it is important that if you are ever unsure, please take the time to write to us. It's quite quite quick and easy for us to spot a scam and it's quite quick and easy for us to say, yeah, no, that's fine. You can do that um, and, and away you go. So again, make sure you write in, ask plenty of questions. That's what we're here for, just to help guide you through these new opportunities and, and new ways to, to build wealth and, and make money in markets that are pretty tough. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's all for this week because rolling solo is a little bit different. It's like a one man theater show monologue. Um, and maybe that might, might be my next pursuit. Although I am working on another book that I'm publishing next year. So I think I might stick with that for the time being. Anyway, Thanks for watching. I'll be back with you again uh, next week and hopefully Shay will be back with me and it'll be a bit more exciting than just looking at me talking to a camera for 15 minutes. So we'll see you then. Bye for now.